Today, we're going to talk about securing listings with real estate planning. Um, many of you may not have heard of Real Estate Planner. It's a new community that we started. And it's really about helping empower the world who owns real estate, how to build, protect, and transfer wealth. And this is uh, what we're going to talk about today. So a little background on myself. Uh, my name is Danny Hara. I am the leader of KW Real Estate Planner. And I'm also a MAPS coach. Uh, we do a fast track coach called Securing Listings with the Wealthy. I've been in Gary's group for 13 years now and have been a leader in the senior industry here in our local market for 17 years. Uh, been an investor in KW Honolulu and Maui since we started them both. And I've spent over 1,200 seminars in our cor current local market uh, presenting. So we've, we've done this a few times. Uh, we've closed over a billion dollars of real estate, over 1,400 transactions, and we've closed over 350, close to 400, 1031 exchanges without failure. 100% success on a large number of 1031 exchanges. And you're going to learn a lot about that today. So we're going to get moving. Okay, so what's our goal today? Our goal is to make sure that you understand uh, what the size of the opportunity is. How big is this opportunity that we're talking about? And then we're going to share why senior relocation services is so important to you to know today. Well, also our goal is to illustrate I mean, the problem that baby boomers are going to face and the solutions that you can provide. Uh, how to 1031 exchange can get you listings and illustrate how to create generational wealth with real estate. Finally, we're gonna inspire you to take some action today. At the end of this, you're gonna have a lot of information and you'll have a choice uh, to make. And that is to take action to continue learning more or not. So what is the opportunity today? Well, it's huge. Think of this, 59%, almost 60% of all listings today are baby boomers and their parents. That's right. Uh, I'm second to the youngest of the baby boomers. I turned 60. Uh, so from 58 years old and up, that's going to comprise almost 60% of all the listings in, in the market. And this is the last 12 months, according to NAR. Keep in mind, also, almost 40% of those people are buyers as well. And what we've found and what you're going to learn more today about in the 1031 exchange, which is probably about 60% of our business, it is the uh, most underutilized tool in real estate in America today. And we're helping people transfer wealth and, in a big way and keeping families together. So what is that real opportunity? You know, sellers really don't know, uh, don't want to list anymore because, you know, they don't want to pay the higher interest rate, right? So who's selling today? As you can see, it's the baby boomers and their parents. Those are the only ones selling. What if you could uh, identify that market? What if you could attract that market? You're going to attract the largest transfer of wealth in America with baby boomers and their parents passing on and transferring wealth to the next generation. You're also going to learn that there's a lot of life changes that are showing up in people's worlds today. And I'm sure you've seen it with your own family, with your cousins and your aunties and uncles, uh, friends and family of things that happen in life that require them to move and to sell their home. Right? You're also the opportunity is to secure listings and having cash motivated buyers. Imagine that having a, a seller that wants to sell and having a, that same person being a buyer with cash and they're, they're motivated by time. They are required to buy within a certain time period. And we're gonna talk a lot about that today at the end. And then it's really about a unique niche that really has no competition that today you can own. You can learn from the information you get today and from the classes you're gonna see. So think about this. This is the greatest transfer of wealth we were gonna see in America. You know, the last transition of wealth is $7 trillion. This one is $70 trillion. It's a massive amount of wealth being transferred. And a good portion of that is in real estate. So here's a question for you. Who do you know that specializes in securing listings in this most predictable market? There's not many. Well, there's almost 500 of us now in our community that's grown over the last year that have understood and learned this and is now taking the proven tools and systems and models that we've used for 18 years to build a huge business. Here's the real problem. You know, we all grew up as independent people. We, we value our independence. And, you know, frankly, in America, we didn't grow up with conflict resolution skills. <laughs> we just didn't, right? Everybody wants what they want, right? 
Well, hence, we have a problem. 70% of litigation today is between family members. So let me ask you this. How many of you have heard of a family fight over real estate after mom and dad died? Anybody? We all have, right? We all have. Why does that happen? Why is it so large of a 70%? That's the majority of your family and friends are now going to fight over real estate after their parents pass away. Well, I can tell you why it is. <clears throat> Some people say it's greed, but it's really a, because of the way American um, have structured and created plans for themselves. Number one is people in America do not create plans for themselves. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We don't, let me ask you, how many of you have created a real estate plan for your inheritance for the next level? I haven't talked to anybody that's done that yet. We have in our family, and we're doing that for families around us and, and people that we know, because we don't want to have this to be a problem. What I'm going to suggest to you today as you join our movement, our movement is to keep families together, to eliminate the family dispute. I don't want 70% of families fighting on my watch. I want to flip that on its head. I want only 30% or 10% of families fighting. I want to keep families together because the world does a, a good enough job breaking families apart. I'm sure you're going to agree with that. With the family disputes, with divorce, and then you add on transferring the wealth that really doesn't transfer because you can't divide real estate. And that's the biggest problem. See, wealthy people have three things. They have a trust attorney, they have a CPA, and they have a financial planner. All wealthy people have those three, right? Well, who plans their real estate? If, if a vast majority of their wealth is in real estate, who plans that? Well, they'll go to the trust attorney and they says, oh, put it in the trust, and keep it safe. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. I'll do that. What does it do? It keeps it safe from probate. Does it keep it safe from your family? No. The data proves that. The data proves that it doesn't keep you safe from your family because 70% of families are fighting. You have a CPA and CPA will say, don't sell it because there's a thing called capital gains tax. But they don't talk about the solution. The thing called a 1031 exchange. This has been uh, around for decades and decades and people are not utilizing that most usable tool, right? And then they have a financial planner. Well, the financial planner is gonna plan their liquid assets, stocks, bonds, and everything liquid. When it comes to real estate, they're not gonna to wanna to have them do anything. So keep in mind, you have a wealthy older adult, they have these three advisors and nobody's planning real estate. And they also know people are fighting over real estate. Why is that? Because in the trust, it says, you three kids share the asset. That's what they'll say. So I'm going to challenge you today. My challenge to you is I want you to go home and read your trust document. Should you have one? And if you don't have a trust document and you own real estate, you're going to want to find an attorney to get it in a trust. Because if you don't, and if you pass away, it is very likely that it's going to go through probate, which will cost tens of thousands of dollars. And... It'll be a miserable nightmare for your heirs, the people that you love. The reason why this problem exists is there's no plan. We create plans for people so it prevents the family dispute while they're alive. And bless their kids while they're alive today as well to help their next generation transfer and build wealth. Think of what you can do with everybody in your database. Start with your family, go to your neighbors and friends. You're gonna realize this is a massive problem with a very simple solution. And you are the solution. Here's another data point to know. Every single day, every day, there's 10,000 people turning 65 years old. Every day. I'm going to be one of them one day. I'm only 60. That's in five years. I'll be one of those guys. Right? That's right. Keep in mind, that's going to last for the next 20 years. This demographic is going to continue to grow for 20 years. So if you plan on being in business for the next 20 years, I don't know a better market to go into other than this. Right? 2.1 million older adults are gonna pass away and 80% of them own real estate. That leads you to 1.68 million potential listings hitting the market this year alone, this year alone. And it'll likely be in a form of either a trust sale or a probate sale. What if you could get in front of that? What if you knew how to speak the language that make people want to use you, that would be attractive to use you to help when mom and dad pass away. 
uh, and or if they passed away without a trust, that they have to go through probate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we've done for 18 years. This is the only model we know. Why? Because when I started in 2005 and Julie's joining me in 2006, we built a big business and a business in a time where the market went down. For those of you who, how many have been in the market in, what was it, six, seven, eight, nine, that time period? If you were in the market at that time period, how was your business? Well, our business kept growing 20, 30% every single year because we went after listings where we knew the listings would always be regardless of the interest rate, regardless of the economy, regardless of the stock market, because we know people are gonna get older and they're gonna have some challenges. Think about it this way. If you had a business that you focused on solving a problem, people are gonna to come to you. This is the model for the KW Real Estate Planner is to solve that problem. So what does the market look like? Well, you have two problems. The, the older adult has two problems. One is their primary residence just doesn't work for them anymore. And they need to find a place to go. We call that senior relocation services. Three months of training for senior relocation services, how to have the conversation, the technical knowledge to use around that so that you can attract the business from referral sources, right? And finding out where do I go? How much does it cost? What does life look like? How do I get there? This is an older adult's problem. When I first brought this to Gary Keller, you know what he first told me is when we first met? He said, Dan, I wish I knew you because I had to do this for my mother. And it was the hardest thing for me to do. And nobody in the market, in my market, could help me. He said to me, I would have used you. And he's not alone. Think of how many older adults are in your marketplace today that need your help that you could provide solutions for their problems. The second problem is that they have investment properties. And unfortunately, you know, these people are, you know, the wealthy older adult, they have more money than they can spend. They, they've amassed wealth over time and they have investment properties that they don't need anymore. It's a burden. It's a burden psychologically. It's a burden um, based on having to worry about something that they don't even need anymore, right? And they're, they're wanting to get out of it, but they don't want to pay capital gains taxes. And so they're stuck until you provide that solution. So why are they downsizing and moving? Well, number one is physical challenges show up, right? You know, knees, hips, back. Anytime a, somebody has a two-story home, if you've got stairs, at some point in their life, it could be problematic. Because if you can't go up the stairs, what happens? You know, we have three clients today that... Um, fell down in their own home, broke their hip, and they never saw their home again. Three of them. One of them called me from his hospital bed. He came to a seminar about six months prior, and he thought everything was okay until one day he wasn't. He fell down in his own home, broke his hip, almost died. He was in his home for two days without water. The third day, his pastor came in to get him, and he got out of the house. But he never saw his home again. And we became his eyes and ears for the property that he had. That Can you imagine never being able to see your home again? What that does to another human being? It's horrendous. It's absolutely horrendous. We say to them, people, you have a choice. You can be proactive or reactive. It's your choice. You know, The proactive person says, I'm going to do something before I need to do it. Uh, and the reactive person says, oh, I'm just going to wait till something bad shows up. Well, I've seen both over 18 years. I, I know the proactive person is going to be healthier and happier. And I'm really sorry for those that are reactive because we have to deal with those too. And, and it's painful to watch. But know that people have a choice. So you got physical challenges. you got mental health challenges. Memory challenges is the biggest problem we're going to have. Um, we don't have enough beds for memory care. And the world today, the medical technology is keeping us alive longer. So no longer are we dying early. We're going to live longer. And they can do everything for our body except for our mind. That's something that you have to do. Our clients have to do. And I got to tell you that isolation is the number one enemy to cerebral stimulation. Isolation, somebody living at home by themselves, is probably the worst thing for them to do. And that's why we say we, we are a fan of retirement communities where they're in community with others, where cerebrally, mentally, they stay active. Because that's one thing that the doctors can't help us with right? And we got to do that on ourselves. 
Some are going to pay uh, for long-term care needs. They have a health issue. Uh, we see um, uh, cancer and heart disease would be the top two that are showing up in people's lives. These are all problems, ladies and gentlemen. They're horrible, horrible, horrible problems. And they're going to have a solution to it. And you can be that solution to wrap your arms around a family to take care of them, to provide that transition and help them through life. And the byproduct of everything you do is getting real estate sales. Right. So think of it that way. Have a mission that's more than just you. Have a mission about other human beings that you really love and care in another human being in a, in a deep way. And the byproduct of that is you have a massive business. Yeah. And that's what we teach you to do. Some are moving in with family and some are, you know, when their kids are gone and their grandkids are far away, where do they want to spend time? With their grandkids, right? They do. And so they're going to move. They're going to sell their home and move. The biggest one is their home's too big and too much work to maintain. That's the massive challenge that people have. You have a four or five or six bedroom home and it's just you and your spouse, right? Or if you have a three or four bedroom home and it's just you, your home's way too big. Maybe the pine tree is getting a little big. Maybe there's deferred maintenance around the house and they're not doing it any longer because they're on a fixed income and they're older and they can't get on a ladder. They shouldn't go on a ladder, right? Some are selling and buying and renting something smaller. This is the younger proactive baby boomer. People in their 60s that are saying, you know, my kids are gone. I'm no longer responsible. I can travel anytime I want. I'm going to downsize and I'm going to just travel and I'm going to lock up and go. It creates freedom. So if you think about all these things that why they're downsizing, it's because of freedom. People, that's the, the greatest human need is to have freedom. And that's what happens when you get older. You're, you're, you're attached to too many things. You've built wealth and you want the freedom away from it. And this is the solution we're providing. They want to move to a lower cost of living. We have people moving from the coast of our country and Hawaii to someplace warmer and cheaper to live, right? Uh, and many are just moving closer to family. There is a ton of reasons why older adults are moving, and this is what we've seen over the last 18 years. Now, there's two types of retirement communities. As I said earlier, we're the fan of retirement communities. There's two basic types. There's a month-to-month -month rental and a thing called a CCRC. Continuing care retirement communities. Now, tip number one is you don't want to call a retirement community a retirement facility. Facilities are bad words. So if you can learn anything today, that's tip one one. Don't use the word facility. It's called a community. And in our community, in our community, KW Real Estate Planner, we teach you to have the conversation with the sales director at the retirement community, and it teach you how to have the conversation when you show up at the retirement community so that they send you referrals so that they open the door to you to do presentations and seminars there. They open the door to you to have a brochure behind the sales director that says that anybody that does business with you, you give them a credit, moving credit. These are all models that have been tried and proven and we still use today. Now, there's three different levels of care. Well, actually four, right? There's independent living. We're all independent, right? And able-bodied. Then there gets to be a time where you need some levels of assistance. Now, assistance, there's a thing that you might want to write down, ADLs, activities of daily living, are called ADLs. Those are bathing, dressing, grooming, toileting, continence, and mobility, right? If you need two of the six activities of daily living, your long-term care insurance will kick in and pay and reimburse you for up to the, the coverage cost of their care. So that's another question you want to ask an older adult is do you have long-term care insurance? Why do you ask that? It doesn't impact the sale, does it? And they're probably wondering, why would a realtor wanna know that? Because you care about them. See, long-term care insurance doesn't help you at all. It helps them. And one of their concerns that they have is I'm gonna run out of money. And if you can prove to them that they're not gonna run out of money, then they're willing to go to a safer environment, a healthier environment. Until you can prove that to them, they're probably gonna stay in their home and unfortunate things might happen by being in home alone. Then you have skilled nursing facilities. Now this is the only time you use the word facility because it is one, it's a hospital. And it, we use the term SNF, S-N-F, skilled nursing facility. Uh, in the geronto gerontological world that I've been living in with older adults, this is someplace where people will have to go 
at some point in time, should they be blessed to live long enough. And lastly is memory care. Now, memory care can happen in all three levels because memory care uh, doesn't have borders on physical health. It only has borders on mental health, right? And all of these communities, they have, they, you, you pay a certain dollar amount and it covers room, board, meals, care, everything. It's all inclusive, okay? All inclusive. So understanding where people can go should they need to leave, that sets you apart because now you're providing a solution for somebody that doesn't have a benefit to you. When you can show the world that you're doing things for other people besides yourself, they will listen. And they're going to know that you care, right? Because people want to do business with people they trust and people that they care about, right? So the problem is the home doesn't work for them any longer and they got to move, right? What do they need to do? Well, you want to be the complete solution um, for them. We've actually protected through the Patent and Trade Office of America called the Complete Solution in Real Estate. Uh, Julie and I did that uh, about probably about 10 years ago. And um, we provide this solution. So what are they? It's number one, you have an older adult, you help them find a new home, right? You, you, you teach them about the retirement communities in the area, the facilities in your area that they might have to go to if they need to. Then you're going to help them process that change physically and emotionally, walk them through that journey. And then you help them sort their items. S-O-R-T is an acronym, sell, offer, retain, and toss. Everything in your home fits in one of four piles. And then some clients go, well, you haven't seen my house. <laughs> I've got a lot more than four piles. <laughs> no, no, no. You, just, you can put things in one of four piles. And that's your personal belongings because you have to help them process and transition moving. And, and then move and set up their new home. Now, number three, four, and five is something that realtors do not know how to do typically and choose not to do, right? And if that's you, then your solution is, and you want to write this down, NASM, N-A-S-M-M, -M, the National Association of Senior Move Managers. This is an entire industry of a thousand companies around the country today that are going in before the sale of the home, they're going in helping them downsize and declutter. We know that because Julie and I owned one for 14 years. Yeah, we moved 1,500 families. And it provided a lot of referral leads for us. Now, I'm not here to tell you that you should start one. <laughs> no, no, it's a lot of work. Stick to with real estate. But here's your solution. Go to nasm.org, N-A-S-M-M.org. Put in your zip code. You're going to find all of the members of the association in your area. And then you're going to call them and find out about their business and provide that solution. And this person could be a referral source for you. We are currently working to build a relationship, a, a relationship between that association and our real estate planner community where they're going to refer us business because we're going to give them a referral fee because we're going to get them licensed at KW. And they're going to hang their license in a market center near you. And every time they send you a referral, you're going to give them a referral check. This industry has never seen this before. And I've been working with the presidents there and I've been speaking at their events um, and I'll be speaking at their next conference in Chicago. Uh, I was just there in Kansas City. This community, these people are the people that the older adult will reach before they talk to a realtor. That's the lead source. And that's what we're building for our members, right? Once they move and set up their home, you're ready to go. Then you go and get their home ready for sale. And then you communicate and advocate with them and you collaborate collaborate, that's a new word, connect and collaborate with their trusted advisors. So one of the questions we ask at all of our listings is, who's your trust attorney, who's your CPA, and who's your financial planner? I get their names down and I ask them a simple question. Would it be okay if, if I reached out to them on your behalf? And 100% of them say, wow, you would do that for me, right? Because they want, they trust those people and you want to be in that circle of trust right? When you get into that circle of trust, guess what? They're going to send you referrals. And that's what's happened in our business. And that's what I did about 10 years ago. And that was my lead generation. I called all the financial planners, the trust attorneys and the CPAs with a specific conversation. I took them to lunch. I got to know them all. And guess what happens today? They send us business. Why? Because we provide a solution that nobody else provides. That's why. And Today, fast forward now, 
I've spoken at every major bank in our state, every major financial institution in our state, the largest trust companies in our state, the less largest trust attorney firms in our state, and I've educated them and they send us business. We teach you how to build a network that's massive, right? That you can get 30 to 40 to 50% of your business from a trusted advisor. Because wouldn't you want to be the trusted advisor of the trusted advisor? <laughs> you can, you can. And I see at the bottom, you know, the sale of the product property is just a byproduct of the services we provide. It's that's what happens at the end. And when the world sees that this is how you show up, that you're providing solutions to the problems that already exist, that selling and your benefit comes at the end, they're gonna call you because you're no longer a transactional commodity, you're a relational consultant. And that's what we're doing. We're elevating our agent's knowledge to go from the transactional commodity to the relational consultant. It's because the sellers have only three questions they have. This is their only criteria. Do I like them? Yeah, you're all likable. Do I trust them? I think he's trustworthy. Here's the last one. Do I believe they can help me? That's where we're winning because we can prove to them we can help them because we talk about the problem and we talk about the solution. And it, a lot of that's not selling real estate, ladies and gentlemen. It's about other things that matter, right? It's about keeping families together. It's about taxes, right? Capital gains taxes. It, it's about where do I go if I need to move? because we can help them and the, the world now knows that. So there's huge opportunities for investment properties. Get this, this is pretty staggering. Most people don't know this. 44 million households are rented and that's 34% of all households are rentals. What does that mean? Somebody else owns them. There's a landlord and the average landlord owns three properties. What if you could get in front of that? What if you could target people that own more than one property? Well, you can. It's called PropStream, and we've been using PropStream, and I um, I think we have a, a, a gift to give you. Kapil, is Kapil on here? Julie, if we can get Kapil to put in the free code, we have a code for you that can get non-owner occupants over a million dollars that have owned it for greater than 10 years and have high <laughs> equity. This is what we do every month, and every month people call because we ask them simple questions. Do you own an investment property? Are you looking to um, remove the burden of your property? Are you looking to eliminate capital gains taxes? Would you like to create an inheritance plan? If so, call this number. It's really simple, ladies and gentlemen. Once you understand the problem and you bring a solution to it, you're gonna win, right? Because think about this, who owns all these 34% of households? Well, it's not the 20 and 30 year old. It's not the 30 and 40 year old, who is it? It's a baby boomer and their parents, right? They own most of the rentals. And by the way, they're almost all debt free. So now you got a cash buyer that has to, wants to sell and has to buy within a certain time frame. It's the best market you can find. It's the best market you can find and in any market, but in particular now, because the move up buyer is not moving up. They're just not doing it, right? And that's why our business is growing, right? They're also concerned about their kids fighting the kids managing and sharing real estate because it's gotten more evident today. The baby boomers are seeing their cousins and their family and friends fight over real estate. There's stories of them. It's horrible, right? And you can be that solution. So what's the real opportunity? The investment properties are a burden. They don't want to keep them anymore. And they're worried about their kids. They don't want to pay capital gains taxes. And they don't even know that there's this thing called an inheritance plan. When I ask people, do you have a real estate plan? And they, nobody says yes. Everybody says, no, I don't have a plan. Would you like one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's an easy way to get an appointment, right? It's so easy to get an appointment because this demographic wants and needs it. They just don't know how to do it. Right? What we do is we provide a motivated seller who needs your knowledge right? You got a cash buyer and, and time constraints that they have to make a decision. So what's a 1031 exchange that allows in investors to defer capital gains tax on the sale of an investment property when they buy a like kind within a specific time frame? What qualifies for a 1031 exchange? 
these all qualify. So you could sell a condo and buy a theater. You can sell an apartment building and buy a DST, a Delaware Statutory Trust, which is a new concept to many people, but it's been around decades. We've been using it for over a decade. We own one, right? We know how to build wealth and protect it and transfer it. And now people are seeing that this new thing that they've never heard of is an amazing solution for them. And they're going to it in droves. And that's why we partner with a number of DST companies and they see an interest in us. The reason why you haven't heard of a DST is because they cannot promote it. The IRS doesn't allow them to because you must be an accredited investor. And not everybody's an accredited investor. Therefore, the financial planners and the DST sponsor companies cannot promote it. We can. And that's why we're, they're attracted to us. And that's why they're, they're helping us get listings. So there's basically five rules to the 1031 exchange. Number one, you must use an exchange accommodator. What is that? It's an intermediary firm that holds the money. The minute you touch a dollar of the sale from the relinquished property, you've invalidated the 1031 exchange. You've invalidated. So you must use an accommodator, number one. Number two, you must buy equal or greater than the sell price. So the relinquished value, more detailed, is your sale price minus the cost of selling. That's your exchange value. You must buy equal or greater than to do a 1031 exchange. Now, you would likely have to buy up in value to eliminate all capital gains tax because of this thing called depreciation recapture, which is 25% of the depreciation the government gave you. And most people don't know that, right? And so these are things that are crucial to an investor's knowledge. And what I find is when we, I do this, sem we do this seminar every month, 1031 exchange, and we, we fill the room with 30 people and we'll get six to eight appointments. And each person has three to five properties. It fills our pipeline of business, right? Because they need your services and nobody's really talking about this today, right? Now, some are, you, you must buy equally greater than, you must buy like kind properties. We saw that earlier. Like kind is any real estate in the United States that's fee simple. You must designate your replacement property within 45 days and must close simultaneously within 180 days. Those are the five rules, right? As long as you fulfill those five rules, you're going to be able to satisfy a 1031 exchange. Again, we've done over 350 1031 exchanges, ladies and gentlemen. We've never filled one, not a single one. And so I'm not sure if there's any other real estate residential agent that sold that many 1031 exchanges without fill. So we have a model around this. Is it a good time to do a 1031 exchange? The answer is yes, if you want to upgrade or increase your portfolio. This is a younger baby boomer who's wants to keep growing wealth, increase his portfolio. Some want to relocate the asset and the equity to another city or state, right? We call that a transition of wealth because they're relocating it for another person in their family, right? Some are exchanging to a lower cost and lower maintenance because some of these uh, AOAOs, are, the maintenance fees are too high. So they're selling it and buying something with a lower cost, which means they generate more money. Some are exchanging to a higher cash flow market, right? Like we sold a property here, we bought in Georgia. You know, we you can do things like that uh, that generates more cash flow. Um, here's one that we see a lot of: they're exchanging for a poor condition property for an upgraded one. The reason why is um, they've owned the properties for a long time. Many times, this is their parents' home or somebody that they know that they passed away and they got it by inheritance. So they didn't do anything with it. It was a free asset. They got it, they don't know what to do with it. Uh, in, in every single market I go to, I can find all the vacant homes in that market through PropStream. There's a lot of them. There's 975 in our market today of a million people. There's a lot of them out there, right? What if you could find them and help them generate money? They will call you, right? Um, then there's, those that have land. See, if you have land, generally speaking, land doesn't generate income. If it doesn't generate an income and you pay property tax, I call that a negative asset. It's not investing, it's divesting. Your property. It's like uh, you giving me a property for free and then you keep paying me every month taxes. That, that's not a good investment, is it, right? So if you know people with land, 
that is the best investment to help them build wealth, right? Unless they're gonna build on it. Um, many are now creating a legacy for their family while they are alive. And this is the astute investor that comes to our classes, teach, we teach them how to build and transfer wealth and protect it, and they execute on it. Some also wanna increase depreciation or do in their depreciation schedule, right? Because depreciation from what a CPAs have told me is it'll generate probably about a, a net 20% increase in your net worth income um, each year because depreciation offset is depreciation is considered um, uh, passive loss. And then you have a passive gain and a passive loss offsets the passive gain. It reduces your taxes. Okay. So it's not what you make, ladies and gentlemen, it's what you keep that matters most in building wealth. All right. So understanding all of these will help you attract that, that person with wealth. Now, here's your bulletproof 1031 exchange model. This is why we've never failed. Because we see a 1031 exchange as being simultaneous, not sequential. See, the rule says you must identify your replacement property within 45 days and close within 180 days, right? So many people are thinking, well, I only got 45 days. I'm going to start after I close. That's not where we start. The minute somebody says to us, I'm thinking of doing a 1031 exchange, we're going to start looking for the replacement property before we even have an agreement on the selling the property we're selling on the relinquished property. We're going to have an identification of a replacement because the day they get an acceptance on the one they're selling, we want to write an offer on the one they want to buy. Now, if you did that, you have 90 days, not 45 days to assign your replacement property. Should you start earlier than that? You've got greater than 90 days. You have three to four months to find your replacement property. This is why we never fail. Well, it's one of the reasons. The other reasons is a DST, Delaware Statutory Trust, is your safety net. Because if they qualify on day 44, you can assign that as your replacement property and you won't fail. So let me take you on a journey. This lady comes to us and she says to us, I've heard of my nieces and nephews fighting and I don't want that for my kids. You know, my nieces and nephews are good kids and I thought everything was fine and I didn't think they'd have a problem, but they're fighting over the real estate. So mom comes to one of our classes and she says, what do I do? I said, so if you want to eliminate the family dispute, here's one option for you. Let's say mom has a million dollar apartment building, right? She's got four kids, George, Lucy, Grant, and Nan. Lucy, Grant, and Nan have three kids each. George is a single guy. Can you imagine if their kids are in a different phase of life, they have different desires, right? They have different needs for the money. Well, mom says, I don't want the apartment building. I want to do a 1031 exchange. And I'm going to create a plan to predetermine their inheritance, predetermine inheritance for all the kids. So mom says, yes, I'd like to do that. She says, how do we do it? I said, here's how we do it. We get everybody together, if you're okay with that. And we're going to sit around at the table and we're going to talk about it. So what we did is they all came into the office and I do this every week, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with people multiple times a week. And we, we talk about the investment properties they own and we talk about their kids. So tell me about George, what does he do, right? Does he have any kids? Does he own his own property? If he could buy his own, would he, right? And they'll say, yeah. I say, well, how come he doesn't? Well, he doesn't have any down payment. Okay. You put that on the side. And so you say to mom, you say, mom, if you sold that million dollar property and you blessed your children with a value of $250,000, you're buying equal to or greater than, you're going to do a 1031 exchange that eliminates capital gains tax, that eliminates the burden of the property and eliminate the family dispute. Those are the three problems they're facing. We just solved them all in one sitting. Mom sells a property at a million dollars. We assign all four kids a $250,000 value. And guess what? The kids can buy it anywhere they want. It stays in mom's name until she dies. When mom passes away, they get it tax-free. We eliminate capital gains tax from their family. We eliminate the family dispute and we eliminate the burden of owning it. We assign all four of them. We change, we talk to the trust attorney because we're going to change your trust document now. We say one, two, three, Main Street goes to George when I'm gone. 
a two, three, four goes to Lucy and so forth, right? We change the trust document because we already know the trust attorney and the trust attorney is saying, wow, this is an amazing, this is an amazing plan. The, the family won't fight, right? When mom passes away, all the assets flow to the kids tax-free. This is how you're going to preserve generational wealth. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one enemy to generational wealth is capital gains taxes. Right? And in states like California and parts of New York, places where values have appreciated enormously, capital gain tax could be hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars. Right? And what if that was your target market? What if your target market was a wealthy older adult? Because that's what's been our market. Helping the wealthy older adult transfer wealth, protect it, and then help them build wealth for the next generation, right? That's what they want to do. They want to create freedom for themselves and freedom for their family. And you can be that solution. It is such an important tool for agents to be able to know this information, to share it with their clients. Trying to learn how to help clients transfer wealth and create generational wealth. What an eye opener with all of the great information that he shared. So all in all, I would say that being a part of the real estate planning community has really brought all of my experience, knowledge and training full circle. I am no longer chasing all the bright, shiny objects that most realtors chase to build their business. I'm laser focused. We ended the evening with not one, not two, but three seller consultations scheduled right then and there. And the engagement didn't stop there. We received several follow-up phone calls from the attendees, all excited to discuss their own legacy planning. And the best part, two new listing opportunities resulted from these conversations in a very short time. I cannot emphasize enough how valuable Dan and the real estate planner community have been to our event success. That was a, a video that our team put together um, in September of last of this year. This year, we're really excited because we we brought in some people that are going to help us with client care and, and business development. But I, I wanted to show you this chart because in one of our meetings with Gary, he wrote this chart. If I took a picture of it off the wall, and he says to us, "Do you know what that is?" And everybody looks at it like it's it's a scribble, Gary. I don't know what that is. And he says, "You see that thing in the middle? This is a forest. You see the one in the middle?" He goes to us, that's the big tree. Do you know how that big tree got so big? It got there first. It got there before it took all the water, the nutrients and the sun away from the other trees and no other tree got as big as it. And Gary says to us, you need to find something 
that you really have a passion for and be first in your market. And when you are, others around you won't grow as big. And that's my encouragement to you today, today is find something that you really are passionate about and go deep on it and build that model. We do two things. We have a fast track group coaching class. That's um, next launch will be March 20th. It'll be four weeks. It's one hour each, it's 199. And we break down the opportunity, but also how do you become a senior relocation specialist? And, and also learn about the 1031 exchange and DSTs and legacy planning that can grow your business. And really the knowledge that you need for wills, trust, and probate, have intelligent conversations with not only your clients, but the professionals that could get you business, right? And that's what we're teaching on our group coaching class. Now, this fast track class is open to anybody at any, any market center. I mean, any um, brokerage firm, right? We also have uh, our real estate planner community. And with that, we really focus on questions and conversations that's going to get you to an appointment and agreement. Because if we, if we all know, you know, Gary, for ever since I've known Gary, he starts with the same drawing of the triangle. Now, you all know what that looks like. It's leads, listings, leverage, right? Leads, listings, leverage. And if you follow the simple model of leads, listing, leverage, the question comes, how do I get there? Well, you need an appointment to get to an agreement. So what's the question you're going to place in front of somebody you're talking to? What's the conversation you want to have to get to the appointment? But well, we teach you how to do that. There's five simple questions we can get you to an appointment. There's questions that get you to an agreement once you're in front of somebody. And we teach that every Thursday in different divisions. One is called Senior Relocation Services. That's three whole months of training. All these are live Zoom, but they're also recorded. So you can watch it any time of the day you like. 1031 Exchange is also another three months of training. Uh, DSTs and Legacy Planning, that'll be one month of training. Trust sales and probate sales will be two months each. And we're adding divorce as the final uh, leg in September of this year. Uh, because these are where people, uh, this is where you're going to find listings, ladies and gentlemen. In a market that doesn't have them, we're able to get them because we're focused on it. We're not, we're not talking to people necessarily that we don't know most of the time. Most of it's people that we know, right? Um, we have a role playing on a Monday also because we take the information and the conversation and question that you need to get the appointment and agreement on Thursday, and you actually role play it in a group. We break everybody that comes in into small groups and you practice together. Because the words have to come out of your mouth. The questions have to come out of your mouth and it's gotta be natural and comfortable. Well, it's hard to do that on your own. And we create an environment, a culture and a community to practice that. In addition to that, there's smaller mastermind groups that are popping up. We have regional ambassadors that have regions that they meet regularly as well. If you're looking for a community that's going to pour into you as much as you pour into them, um, this is one of your better communities to do that in. It's $199 a month. There is a minimum of 75,000 GCI uh, for the rolling 12 months, and you have to have a license in two years, license of good standing. Keep in mind, it's not, it's not unlimited. It's limited to only 5% of the agents in the market center. We have a couple market centers today that are capped out. And so there's people on waiting lists. We believe that's gonna happen all over the country. This is our very first year. And we are already on close to 500 members. Next year, we'll have a thousand. Year after that, we're gonna grow a thousand out of click. Because this market is not going away. It's gonna get bigger for the next 20 years. And if you're looking for listings, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know of a better place to look. Honestly, I don't think there is one because people need to sell and they want to sell. Okay. And so that's all of my class today. I'd like to open up to questions. If we have any. Uh, oh, Claudia asked, where do I find vacant properties? In PropStream, in the link above, you see the PropStream link. Uh, where did it go? Uh, yeah, there's a prop string link trial at prop stream slash KW rep. You can use that um, and you can get free access to that information. Um, we have a question, Dan, that says, do we have to complete the March 20th class to join? No, you can join at any time. Yeah, 
you can join at any time. Yeah. And what uh, if someone doesn't meet the GCI requirement? Um, then you can go to the fast track class, or if you join a team and the Rainmaker um, brings you on their team and the Rainmaker uh, supports you in joining the community and allows you to use their GCI, you can. There's also a team discount, by the way. So uh, for, once you get to three members on a team that join it, there's 30% off for everybody. So it comes out like 139-ish, something like that. Um, but that's that's the model on the teams. We, we have some teams that have 10 and 12 people in it because they want their people to be trained all the same way. Again, if you want to build a massive business, um, you can go to the first time buyer or you can go to the wealthy that has to sell. Okay. You get a choice in the matter. We have another question that says, uh, can this be tweaked for the commercial sector? Absolutely. So we're planning on doing two classes for commercial um, and also for luxury. Uh, we've been asked to do two classes for both and we will this year. So we're gonna customize it for commercial and luxury. Is it possible for non-KW realtors to join either of these programs? Uh, not the real estate planner, but they can join the fast track class. Yes. Okay, here's the biggest question. Will you be at Family Reunion in Vegas next year? Yes, we will. So keep in mind, I don't have it on the slide deck, but mark your calendars. Uh, in fact, we have everyone's information. We'll send you an inv invite. We have uh, three events. We've got a networking event on the 24th which is a mixer from five to eight. There's a mastermind on the 25th from eight to 12. Now that one is gonna be a limited seating. Well, they're both, they're all limited seating, but the masterminds, we already have 160 people signed up and not many people know about this. We can only have a maximum of 240. So I know that'll be, that'll be filled. And that's right before the CEO summit. So nothing happens between eight to 12 except our event. We'll do a breakout. I don't know what day that is on the 25th, 6th or 27th as well. but And we have a booth there. So if you haven't joined by then, you're, you're going to know. Now, if you join, you're at the Family Union, you're going to get a free t-shirt, a uh, customized one that is going to, we have a t-shirt contest. And we also have a trip to Hawaii uh, for all of our members. It's only a members. It's ex all expense paid for two. And there's a contest for that as well. Uh, lots of fun things that we're doing. And I'd love to invite you to join us. Awesome. Um, just for everyone who either came late or left early, this copy will be available on our Maps Coaching YouTube page. Um, the video will be recorded. You can also view um, all the previous videos too. Um, so that's where you can find your copy of Dan's seminar on today. Um, Dan, we have another question. How do we know if our market center can participate? How do you know if you can, well, every market center can participate. So if you're in leadership or you have influence over in leadership, uh, we are planning our 2024 road shows. Uh, we're gonna do 24 of them this year, um, starting in February. So if you're interested, reach out to us. Um, and if we can get 50 people in a room, I've been able to find funding that uh, I can actually do that for free for you. I can also do Zoom classes for your teams and your market centers as well. Uh, we're building all of those out as we speak. So if anybody, and what you've seen is maybe less than one, about 5% of everything that we deliver. Uh, the classes that we do on our road shows are three hours with a two hour mastermind. So a total of five hours of training um, on our road shows. Awesome. Do you think this community works well for younger agents? Absolutely. There's no limitation on age on this because it's the older adult. And if you can show up differently, if you can show up mature enough to understand things about cost basis, carry over cost basis, step up in cost basis, capital gain taxes, you're, you're gonna, they're going to get your attention because realtors aren't showing up this way. We're not showing up about learning about retirement communities or how to preserve wealth, right? About DSTs and trust sales and probate. It's all about knowledge. Perfect. Um, can you help an agent with a 1031 deal in other states like Florida as an intermediator? Yes. Yes. So if anybody needs help, I'm uh, offering myself as a consultant to do that uh, with a 25% referral fee. That's it. But I'll be, I'll be, make sure you don't fail. Perfect. Um, with baby boomers selling their businesses, 
what do you recommend if 1031 exchanges don't work in the market? So if they're selling their real businesses, now you're talking about real estate businesses or non-real estate? Let's do both. Challenge. So <laughs> if, it's, if it's a non-real estate business, uh, you 1031 exchanges are not involved in that because it's all about real estate, right? You got to sell an investment property, something you didn't live in two out of the last five months, right? So you, it can work if you have a piece of real estate that you did not live in two out of the last five months. And it doesn't matter what kind it is. It could be warehouse, it could be land, it could be office space, it could be a home, it doesn't matter, right? So you can do that. Um, 1031 exchanges are only real estate. So it's not hard assets other than like your business, like an account base, right? That's not included. Dan, what is the best website to either reach out to you directly um, or in general about the Fast Track program or if anybody has any questions after this? Uh, Kapil, if he's on, you can put it in the chat. Uh, I think we're using KW Real Estate Planner uh, at that and you can reach out to us. We have a Facebook group. Um, we can actually put in, we can message them a link tree. Our link tree has everything you need to know regarding the KW Real Estate Planner community, Q and A, uh, videos, uh, training and so forth. Perfect. And is your seminar virtual or in person? Um, these that are doing are virtual. Uh, it's live virtual. Uh, our road shows will be in person. And obviously all of our national shows will be in person. Awesome. Awesome. Any other questions? I know we got to take off here. Somebody else has got a class after me. Uh, how about uh, two or three ahas? A few seconds we got left. Anybody got any ahas? I also just posted the link for our Maps Coaching YouTube page in the chat for everybody to reference as well. Awesome. Okay. Any other questions, comments? No? Any odds? Did we learn something today? Was it good? Helpful? No? Patricia said she loved this and she can't wait to do it. So awesome. I think you got your first sign up here. Awesome. Well, if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we trust that this has been helpful. Again, identify a problem and bring a solution to it, you're gonna win, ladies and gentlemen. It's as simple as that. But the problems that we're showing you are problems that we're gonna continue rising for people that you know in your community, your family, your friends, your neighbors, and you can be the solution. And I encourage you to join in our, our movement to keep families together. Thanks everybody. Thanks everyone, happy day. holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs>